friends i am amol joshi in this lecture we are going to find out the acceleration of connecting rod ab so in this problem the crank of a slider crank mechanism rotates clockwise at a constant speed of 300 rpm the crank is 150 mm and the connecting rod is 600 mm long determine linear velocity and acceleration of midpoint of a connecting rod and another one is angular velocity and angular acceleration of the connecting rod look at the dif difference between these two that is uh, first of all in first uh, we are going to find out the velocity of uh, point d and also acceleration along with the point d and in second we are going to find out the velocity of link ab this total link ab and also it's along with its acceleration so in this problem first of all the speed is uh, given that is a uh, 300 rpm so by using the speed we are going to find out angular uh, velocity of link bo this this uh, speed is uh, along with the crank bo and it's also a distance of uh, this bo is 150 mm so first of all we are going to find out the angular velocity of this link bo and it is uh, 2 pi n upon 60 so 2 pi multiplied by 300 divided by 60 equal to 31.42 okay so after that we are going to find out the velocity of this bo velocity of this bo so for that uh, velocity of bo we are uh, we have used angular velocity of bo multiplied by this distance or it may be a radius of that crank ob okay so by using this 31.42 multiplied by 0.0.15 equal to 4.713 meter per second this is a velocity of a link uh, ob that is nothing but a crank also in this problem also in this problem the the distance of ba is also given and it is a 600 mm the distance of ba is a 600 mm equal to 0.6 meter in meter so in this problem there is a slider and uh, it is uh, fixed on a center of this slider crank mechanism means its moment the slider moment is along with the axis of this crank horizontally horizontally okay so by using this concept we are going to find out uh, the acceleration of this point d and the link ab okay here with uh, i just draw a space diagram of this uh, mechanism in this mechanism i selected point uh, at o from this point o i mark uh, a arc of 150 mm and along with the angle of 45 degree and uh, fix a point b and from this point uh, from this point i take a distance of i take a distance of 600 mm in a compass and mark another arc and uh, from uh, center of this crank from center of this crank i draw a horizontal line and uh, this horizontal line intersect at point a so this is a in this way i completed uh, my space diagram of this uh, mechanism so after that after completing this space diagram the space diagram you just uh, select some scale or it may be a same as 150 mm as 6 600 mm okay then moving towards the velocity diagram for this i initially find out a velocity of link 
OB that is a crank of this mechanism and it is a 4.713 so by using this value I draw a perpendicular line from point O I draw a perpendicular line to the link BO okay I just draw this uh, perpendicular line and uh, measure the distance of uh, this uh, 4.713 for this reason I assume some suitable scale okay and mark point B so in this way I got a first uh, uh, vector of OB and it is a velocity of uh, link velocity of crank VB okay so after that we are going to find out a velocity of crank sorry a slider and the slider moves horizontally along with the path of uh, and its path is uh, concentrated with the center of this crank okay so I just draw a horizontal line from point O from point O and it is a VA line vector line VA line and uh, at that at this position we are going to find out A the position of A so from point B I just draw a perpendicular line to AB perpendicular line to AB from point B and this line intersect at VA line at point A so in this way we have completed uh, our ve velocity diagram but uh, in this problem the point D is uh, it's half of the distance of AB so uh, so I just draw I just take a center point of this vector di vector line AB and it is a D and so I just draw a dotted line from point O and shows it a velocity of this D VD okay in this way I completed my velocity diagram after move after completing this velocity diagram I move forward to the acceleration diagram and in this diagram in this diagram all the geometry all the job all the nomenclatures all the nomenclatures as O dash A dash B dash C dash that like this so in this diagram first of all first of all you draw a parallel line to OB a parallel line to OB from O dash so I just draw a parallel line from O dash and take a distance of this acceleration so acceleration is acceleration distance is look at this calculation a r b o radial acceleration of radial acceleration of link b o that is a b equal to a b so for this v square b o upon o b i use this formula so v square v b square so v b square is over 4.713 square divided by 0 0.15 and i got this acceleration so by using this uh, uh, distance uh, in this uh, in this diagram you also select some scale for this distance and uh, mark point b dash okay after that after that i just draw a line parallel to ab okay parallel to ab from point b dash and this is a this is a line b dash x and uh, for this
for this b dash to x i use this formula a r a b radial acceleration along with the connecting rod a b so for this for this first of all we have to calculate from velocity diagram from velocity diagram we have to calculate or by measurement a distance of v a b it is a 3.4 meter per second okay v a b that is a our linear velocity of a connecting rod and uh, v a velocity of a slider v a means velocity of slider equal to 4 meter per second this is taking by taking a measurement of uh, my diagram or your diagram okay it is a 4 meter per second and i use this uh, 3.4 that is uh, velocity of uh, connecting rod a b in this formula a r a b so i got answer of 19.3 meter per second square acceleration okay so by using this acceleration i just draw a b dash x by using some suitable scale so in the in this problem you have select suitable scale for space diagram for velocity diagram and for acceleration diagram also so from this x point from this x point i just draw a perpendicular line i just draw a perpendicular line from x point okay and this is a perpendicular line shows acceleration tangential acceleration tangential acceleration from x point tangential acceleration along with the connecting rod a b okay after that i just draw a parallel line which is a slider moment which is a slider moment i just draw a parallel line from o dash which is also nothing but a acceleration of this slider so the, in this way i just draw a parallel line o dash a dash and this line intersect the perpendicular line at a dash so from a dash and b dash i just draw i just draw from a dash and b dash a line okay and i take this measurement and divide this line in d dash because because of the d point is at center of the link ab and d dash and draw a line from o dash to d dash and it is nothing but the acceleration of that point d of a connecting rod okay so by taking a measurement of o dash to d dash equal to our acceleration of link ad and it is a measurement of o dash to d dash this is the acceleration of point d in a connecting rod it is o dash by measurement of this o dash d dash equal to 117 meter per second square this is our answer okay <coughs> okay so after that in point second we are going to find out angular velocity of connecting rod angular velocity of connecting rod and we just measure we just measure of this uh, measurement of this uh, vector a b or velocity a b vector b a equal to 3.4 meter per second from this from this we calculate the angular velocity of this connecting rod omega a b and it is equal to v a b divided by b a and it is 3.4 divided by 0 0.6 in meter so we have calculated this 5.67 radian per second it is a this is a second not a second square this is a second okay so in this way we calculate the angular velocity of connecting rod after that by taking a me measurement of acceleration of 
tangential acceleration of AB equal to 103 meter per second square and we know we, in this problem we have to calculate the angular acceleration so alpha AB equal to acceleration tangential acceleration this is a vector diagram which is a a b a dash to b dash okay and from this acceleration 103 meter per second by measurement and then alpha a b angular acceleration equal to a acceleration tangential acceleration along with the link a b that is connecting rod divided by b a distance so 103 divided by 0 0.6 and in this way we find out the acceleration of connecting rod at it is a 1.171.67 radian per second if any if any queries regarding to this please contact with me also subscribe also like this video and subscribe my video thank you